Hey everyone, I hope you all are having a great day. I will start off with prayer like we usually do and then we will get in today's word. So Heavenly Father, I pray that you bless every single person in the sound of my voice. May you keep them safe and fill their hearts, mind, and soul and spirit with your word, Lord, with encouragement and with what they need. And I pray that this bless them take care of them and continue to do your work in them so they can fulfill their destiny in jesus name we pray amen so today's message is going to be a little bit different i wrote this a while back and you know the lord was just like read the first page and just remember what you wrote so i think this is going to be a blessing to many people and hopefully you get something out of it that blesses you and just encourages you to keep going and know if you're going through something there's a very possible chance another brother and sister in christ is dealing with the same things so just be encouraged and let's read what is written so problems to pray about in the family and obviously this list can go on and on and on but these are just some that at the time I was writing and possibly thinking about the enemy's plan to divide a home is with jealousy anger harm evil words envy lust malice fear hate but what does God say about this and how to avoid it so let's think about what is God God is love, the purest love. So with that said, let's go to Corinthians 13, verse 4 through 8. If we just read it, it'll start with love is. But I think God was really just trying to minister to my heart that day about this topic. And I wrote a family of in front of it and then read the Bible verse. You can always implement the scripture in your prayers over your situation. And this is just an example of that. Don't add anything to the word, um, but always use it for what you're going through, if that makes sense. A family of love is patient, kind. It is not envy. It is not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered, and it keeps no record of wrongs. A family of love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. A family filled with love never fails. So may we be filled and led by love. And you can always change love for God in those verses because God is love. So that is his purest form. So if we can abide in love and allow our families to be operating in the love of Christ and the love of God, we can keep jealousy, anger, harm, evil words, envy, lust, malice, fear, hate, and on and on out of our lives, out of our homes, out of our families, out of our words, out of our thoughts, because we're consuming the pure love of God. And studying the word is such an important tool for us to continue to be self-approved in the sight of God. Because as we study, God continues to renew our minds, renew our hearts, our soul, our spirit. And with that, we start looking sounding operating more like god and obviously his love is being shown and you're living that out so may the children of god have love godliness peace joy trust rest prosperity and have purpose and be an encouragement to one another and be bold and be in unity stand out being bright, selfless, patient, kind. So may we just continue to walk in the love of Christ and continue to encourage one another to do our very best and continue to seek the Lord in our everyday. Every day invite him to help you 
in your day to day, in your work, when you come back home, in the way you act, respond, speak, because everything that you do should reflect God. And that is so important, especially in our families, because everything starts in the home and then it goes outward. So continue to speak life, love over your loved ones, your family, and continue to speak the life, the true word of God in your homes and keep praying. Prayers for your loved ones, prayers for your family is so important because it invites God to do things that we cannot and we can do prayer. We can do positivity and speaking the word of God and just standing on it no matter what it looks like. You speak to the situation on what God says, on what God's word is, and stand on that. Be firm in that and know that God has you and your family and your loved ones. And he just needs you to continue to stand and ask and pray so that he can continue to operate and do what he needs to do to get those on the right path that you love, to get those to understand, to get those to do the will of God for their lives. So be encouraged today and know that you are not alone. God has you and your family and keep going. So I hope all of you are blessed by this message and we'll close out for today with prayer and I will see you in the next one. And God, I ask you, Heavenly Father, to continue to move in the lives of the people that come to watch and listen to these videos to get encouragement and to get the word of God in them and to just be motivated to go out there and do the will that you have for them, Lord. And I thank you. Bless them. Take care of them, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. See you in the next one. Bye.